Hey, it's Gracelyn Sorrell here, and God just placed a message on my heart that I had to share with you. You must know that God is jealous for you, that God loves you so much that he gave his only son to die to save you. And whether you believe it or not, there's a love that you have not tapped into yet. There's a love that you have to go deeper in. There's a love that is waiting for your sacrifice, that is waiting for your yes, that is waiting for you to get out of the bed with the person that never loved you, to commit every single way to him and his name is Jesus Christ. I don't care what you believe in, what your religion is, what your race, what your sexual orientation is. I need you to know that there is a love out there for you that is so tangible, that is so real. So don't allow your excuse to be, well, I don't know how to get closer to God. You better find a way to get closer to him. I'm speaking to you on this video right now because I want you to DM me and ask, how do I get closer to Christ? Please help me. Please mentor me in the areas where I'm falling short because we all fall short of the glory of God but that does not mean you are exempt from his love it just means that you have to get back up you have to rise up you have to rise above the sin and above all of the ways of the world and you have to be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that God can get into the deepest of the deep of your heart he literally wants to interrupt your life in a way that is uncomfortable to you and that's why you're running away from God. But the uncomfortability and that place that he wants you in of desolation and isolation is so that he can get closer to you, so that he can mend your heart, so that he can make you better. And it's not to torture you, it's for him to know that you would give it all up for him so that he can reward you. He wants to give you the world. God wants you to have money. Money. God wants you to be fulfilled. He wants you to be in a relationship. But you have to sacrifice first. You have to put in the work. You have to say, you know what, I'm going to wait until marriage to have sex. I'm not going to flirt anymore. You know what, I'm going to quit my 9 to 5 because I believe I'm supposed to start my own business. You know what, I'm going to start a 9 to 5 because I wasn't called to full-time ministry. I'm going to follow the call to be set apart and not even go to school, not even go to college because I believe that God has placed something in my heart so much more purposeful for me. And so I need you today to sacrifice your life. I need you to give everything to God because he's done it for you and he would do it a hundred billion times over. I need you to know that you are loved by the Most High King. You are loved by God. You are loved by the one who created the sun, the moon, and the stars. He is the creator of the universe. Do not ignore him. He is jealous for you. He wants your love. He wants your love. And he loves you so much. And all you have to do to accept him into your heart is say, Jesus, I want you, God. Jesus, I am lonely. I feel like I am ruining my life with these toxic relationships. I feel like I can't forgive this person because they've hurt me so deeply. God will give you a heart of purity. He will place in you a clean heart. He will renew a clean heart in you. And so you have to believe by faith that he will do these things, but your first step is saying yes. You have to say yes to him and he will begin to pour upon your life like you have never ever seen before. I promise you that because I have been there. I've been in the place where I didn't want to reach out to accountability partners. I've been in the place where I didn't even have people to talk to and sometimes I still feel like I don't. In this journey it gets lonely. When you can't watch porn, when you can't go to masturbation, when you have to read your Bible, when you have to fall on your knees and say, God, take these desires away from me, take the taste out of my mouth to want to masturbate, literally remove the enemy from my spirit. When you ask God to take control, he will take these desires away and he will turn them into something beautiful. He will turn it into purpose. And so I need you guys to believe in God today because we are in the last days. Jesus is coming back and there is going to be a day where you will be judged by the things that you've done, by the things that you haven't done, by the things that you are continuing to do. And today you have to make the decision to sacrifice because you've been waiting your whole life to do so. You've been waiting for your family to step up and say it first. Stop waiting. Today is the day to get saved. Today is the day to say, God, I want to be fulfilled. I want to be happy. I don't want to be pursued by these girls or these guys that are leading me off of the track, God. You have to accept Jesus into your heart and he will begin to transform you. I promise. Father God, I pray for these people right now, God. 
I thank you for their yes, Father. I thank you that you're shining your light upon all of your men, Father, upon all of your women, for all people to see, God. I thank you that you are not leaving this one behind, God, but you would leave the 99 for the one that is watching right now, Father. I thank you, God, that they are not alone, that they will never be alone. I bind the lies of the enemy that would try to tell them that this is going to be the worst journey of their life, that they'll never be able to find a church home, that they'll never be able to find accountability or the right people around them father but I just speak life in the name of Jesus that they would literally be liberated in this moment from every single form of depression every single form of anxiety every form of temptation and lust father I thank you that the bondage has been broken I pray that they will be the curse breaker father that they will be the generation starter of freedom that they would begin the generation starter of success Lord success in you father I bind jealousy I bring Break off every form of gluttony in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, I bind disobedience in the name of Jesus, God, and I speak life upon your people, Father. I speak pure hearts upon your people, God, and I speak that this moment is the moment that they will never be the same, Father. Send them the people that they need, God. Send them the resources that they need, God. God, do not leave them alone, for your word says that you will never leave us nor forsake us, God. So I believe that you are a present help in time of need, Father, that you would not leave your sons and daughters left destroy God but you will chase after us in a way that we have never been chased before in the moments of need father so God we need you right now God and we we accept you into our hearts and we say renew us father we say cleanse us God of, and purge us of everything that is, is unlike you father and we bind shame in the name of Jesus we bind doubt in Jesus name Everybody that's shameful about their decision toward Christ. Everybody that is shameful about being bold about Jesus. I break it off in the name of Jesus, Father. Let them be bold and courageous. Hallelujah. Let them fight the enemy with power and with force and with authority and knowing that we are the head and not the tail, that we are above and not beneath God. So, Father, I thank you for these things in the name of Jesus, and I believe that you are changing their lives forever, Father. I thank you that you are marked for Christ in the name of Jesus, that you will see heaven at the end of your journey. Be diligent, be bold, be courageous, and do not stray from the path that God has called you to be on. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you guys so much, and always remember that purity is possible.